Hello, my name is Fabian Rodriguez and I am a Centrified Systems Engineer. On this how-to, we go over the necessary steps to request and approve access to a CPS account. On my screen, I am already logged on to the Centrified Privilege Service Portal as the user Nancy Adams. First, I need to click on the Resources tab. Then, I go to the Domain Controller and I click on Actions and Account Actions to get access to the administrator account which I don't have access currently. If I click on Request Checkout and provide a reason for why I need access to the account, click on Submit, I have now submitted a request that generates an email for the approver. In this case, the approver receives the email, reviews the information noticing that requester is Nancy Adam with a reason, click on view request which opens the Centrify portal for the workflow approver. We click on approve. Now we have two options, grant permanent permission and grant temporary permission. Options are minutes, hours or days. We'll choose grant permanent permissions and click submit. Now we go to the Request tab and we can see that we have a request, that, a request that's been approved. Then let's switch screen to Nancy Adams session, click on Resources, go to the Domain Controller, right click, go to Account Actions, and now we're able to see that we are able to check out the administrator password and the 60 minutes counter starts. We can click on display or clipboard. This time we'll click on clipboard, click close. Now go to the workspace to see that my password checkouts are showing that I have 59 minutes remaining for the password that I just checked out for the administrator account into that domain controller. And that is how you use CPS workflow to submit and approve a CPS request to allow access to a privileged account. Thank you for taking a look at this tutorial.